Do you give? First, that I can't actually speak Italian, so I will be speaking in English, and I hope the translation is, uh, is even better than what I say, and uh, it would be great to hear later on what was being said. Um, this is a small project that we started out of an artist's studio, so we're actually coming from the arts and using social business as a means to, to really reach the whole world. It's a small solar-powered lamp. It looks like a sun, so it's easy to understand. You basically have a solar panel on the back. You put the sun into the back for a day, and then you have an evening's worth of light. That doesn't seem super relevant if you have big spotlights in the ceiling here, but it is if you're sitting in rural Africa and you're a student and you're studying next to a little kerosene lantern, which can burn down your home, which is like smoking 40 cigarettes a day. Um, so we actually tried to create something beautiful that, um, that helps solve um, an, a really pragmatic, terrible, practical need in the world. And um, I, I have to take a small detour, though, because I was so impressed yesterday, I was taken around San Patrigiano a little bit. And uh, I hadn't, well, I had read a little bit about, uh, about the space here, about everyone living here. I hadn't fully understood it, though, and a lot of what I saw was very close to what we um, experienced in, in the art studio where this project emanated. And it's a studio by a famous artist, by Olafur Eliasson. I've been working with him for, for 11 years now. His installations are all about creating space, creating something that you can engage with. They're all about pushing art outside of the boundaries of the traditional museum and into society. They're about creating tools for engagement. And looking at the studio, it's a space where people think um, and work and collaborate together to create uh, great, basically, pieces of contact, you could say. And in the studio, we have a bunch of people working on graphics, like you do here. We have a wood workshop, like you do here. We have a metal workshop, like you do here. We have architects, like myself, working on projects and on drawings. And it's very much about taking artistic thinking to practical doing. And this little project that I brought today um, is very much about uh, trying to understand how art can actually expand outside of the traditional museum environment, outside of our traditional uh, European museum model, and really into the world. And we were, we were assisted and aided in the beginning of this by a museum in London by Tate Modern, where um, the artist Olafur had had a big exhibition with a big sun in 2003. And when we said out of the art studio, we want to now create a small sun and bring it to the world, the museum said, fantastic, we want to participate. So immediately we had the support of the cultural sector, I could call it. And this is an interesting notion that in, in art and culture, there is actually a group of people working together to, to push things forward. Many of them are working within a set grounds, within this more closed art world, within museums, but some venture out. And for us, it was interesting to understand how we can venture out, not just into civil society in our surroundings, but actually around the globe. How we could have an impact on the amount of people in the world who don't have access to energy, and how we could create something that would really reach very, very many people. We're talking about 1.2 billion people in the world who don't have access to energy, so it's an immense figure. First, we thought, oh, we make a beautiful little lamp, and, you know, we maybe find some money from a philanthropic foundation and we donate some lamps to students in Ethiopia. Then we did some research and we found out there are 16 million students, kids in Ethiopia, who are living without access to energy. So we thought, um, if we try to do a donation model, it will fall short. We will only deliver, you know, 10,000 lamps, 20,000. If we're really lucky, maybe 100,000. So we have to think about not only what do we want to deliver, an inspiring, fun little device that lets you hold energy in your hands, but also, how does it get to people? And that's when we started looking into social business, and um, which relates very closely, I think, to positive economy. In the meantime, we're, as a small company, which is also an art project, four years old. We are actually a certified B Corp. So to come back to the, the benefit corporations, um, even though in Germany, legally, that doesn't exist yet, but the American benefit corporation movement has expanded into Germany. And it's quite fantastic to hear that here in Italy, this is um, now actually becoming a law, because we are we're in, a, in an intermediate space in Germany. We are a for-profited, limit liability company, but we don't make any profits. We are evolving our project based on a philanthropic loan um, by a large American foundation, Mike Bloomberg's foundation, Bloomberg Philanthropies, because they thought it would be great to engage on an experiment on a different way of funding what some people conceive as of a development project. So they said, we won't give you a grant, we will give you a loan, you can make the social business actually work, you can repay us, and we can then give away the money to someone else in the end. And we're now on the mission to prove that that is possible. We're on a mission to scale, we're on a mission to deliver more energy. And um, we've just actually created our second product, which is a, a solar panel four times the size, um, a stronger lamp, 
And most importantly, it charges mobile phones, which um, in many places of the world is, of course, uh, uh, the, the killer application. And uh, the interesting question is, you know, how does energy look and feel? Does it feel different to a child in rural Ethiopia or to a child in San Pantrigiano or in Berlin? And the answer is probably no. It, it probably actually feels the same. We're much more connected than we think. And our ambitions, our goals, our needs are, are quite similar. So um, it was important to us that this lamp is being sold for a higher price, for example, in the design store of the Museum of Modern Art in New York, and for a more affordable price by a rural salesperson in, in rural Ethiopia. And we can't do this alone. Alone, we're a small team in an art studio, right? We, we don't have any power, we don't have any money, but we do have an ambition to emotionally share an engagement, to share contact, to compassionately work together. And we've managed to motivate people to join us, and that has been companies with uh, CSR engagements, buying lamps, giving them away. That has been fantastic partners in many different parts of the world actually taking these lamps along. And we're working on this question of how you can deliver a high quality product with, um, with margins, but not really profit margins compared to traditional industry. How we can really deliver it at scale. And this idea of, of reaching scale was important. That's why we resorted to um, business as a driver for this whole thing. And this is, I think, why positive economy is so important. Because the reality is we can, we can look for um, tax money, we can look for donations, but there, there's a likelihood that those will end and that there will be a lot of energy invested into, into rallying that type of support. Whereas if we can manage to build a, a positive, a socially minded economy, an impact minded economy, it becomes a self-driving process. And it just requires a little bit of reconsideration and rethinking, simply valuing, as you were saying, impact over profit. It doesn't mean profit should not at some point be there. In our project, that may or may not be the case, but we can try to sell our, you know, our, our products for a high price here and, uh, and raise funds through that. And we will keep investing those funds into kickstarting small business um, micro-distribution, I would call it, in, in Africa. And um, so, sorry, to, to look back, it, it's quite exciting for me to be here because the spirit that I felt going around San Pantrigiano yesterday, and I have to say, I, I was actually happy I walked out of a few talks, not to say that the talks would not have been interesting, but actually going into the community and meeting a few people was, um, was, was incredibly inspiring to me. And this idea that, that we can change things together, that in this space here in San Pantigiano, one, one person's initial vision, together with a few people who then joined him, expanded into this fantastic network of people that, uh, that is helping each other forward and, and making this an incredibly inspiring space. That is something that's close to our feeling, this idea that we are powerful only if we work together, if we collaborate and that um, art can push ahead this notion of sharing something in the world, of seeing the world differently, of, of finding little tools to change it step by step. And again, this is a, you know, this is a tiny thing. This is one, one tiny part, a component of a bigger project in the world. And it's by no means the only problem that we see, but it is a positive way of, uh, of engaging with it. Every child that has one of these lamps should feel happy and powerful, not as though it received a solution to a problem, but as though it can actually touch the sun. And we are obviously all connected under this same sun. It's, it shines similarly all around the globe. And we're working towards a little bit of more equilibrium in the distribution of power in, in that system. So it's exciting for me to be here and I, I have to find out who to give this to, but I brought um, a lamp that I want to leave in San Patrigiano just as a small token of gratitude for being here. And uh, because it's all about shining a light together for change and for doing that. And um, these lamps are ideally spreading around the globe so that we can uh, at some point all shine together and actually see a change in the world map that NASA has of nighttime. I don't know if you know that famous picture, which basically shows a large part of the continent in the dark after nightfall. And we're of course working on, on a very, very slowly step-by-step -step changing that. And we should definitely do a Pirelli edition with a you know, recycled tire strap. So do something together. This idea of coming together here we should find out, and later on I know there's a session wrapping up what, what is being talked about. Of course, the best result would be to figure out what can we actually do together? Who are the actors who are sitting here who can actually power each other's projects and move them forward? I know a lot of the companies here actually support San Partigiano, and I think that's fantastic because it's, it's a rare difference to many of the other conference um, places that you go. So there is already this engagement here in the room and, and this togetherness, this collaboration. And again, coming from the art world, that is the artistic thinking behind our project.